You are watching the latest edition of the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. My first guest is Dr. David Brady. Dr. Brady is the Chief Medical Officer of Designs for Health and the Director of the Human Nutrition Institute and Professor of Naturopathic Medicine at the University of Bridgeport in Bridgeport, Connecticut. He's here today to discuss new and innovative medical testing to help people improve their state of health and help those with chronic conditions. Dr. Brady, welcome to the program. Thank you, Randy. Now, before we get into today's topic, uh, a little bit about your background and training. Uh, you're a naturopathic physician. Right. Tell me about that. Um, I'm trained in naturopathic medicine. I'm a licensed naturopathic physician in Connecticut. Uh, I'm also a uh, certified clinical nutritionist. So I blend uh, nutrition intervention and uh, naturopathic approaches to, um, to health. Now what about your role at the University of Bridgeport? What do you do there? Um, I'm the director of the Human Nutrition Institute. What so does that I, mean? I basically run the academic department that grants okay. uh, advanced degrees, graduate level degrees in human nutrition. Um, I've also been on the teaching faculty there for nine years uh, in the College of Naturopathic Medicine. Moving on to today's topic, uh, one of the th tests you said that you wanted to talk about, this comprehensive metabolic profile. Right. What type of patients are you using it on? Um, I use it on virtually everybody in my practice uh, because it has the ability to, on one side of the spectrum, be able to take someone who is reasonably healthy or maybe someone who is very healthy, uh, including high-level athletes, and we can determine different things about their physiology and about their metabolism to help them get an even better performance or achieve an even better state of health. On the okay. other side, though, we use this very commonly with people with a long list of complaints, a long list of symptoms, people who have different chronic uh, you know, health conditions to help them recover and help them feel better. How is this different than what a patient would expect their primary care physician would run, you know, the, the, the normal blood work? Right. And we get that question a lot. Um, Standard medical testing, uh, whether you've had blood work done or your analysis done or something, um, some other type of lab test, is really meant to diagnose disease. It's meant to find specific, discrete disease states. So what metabolic testing does is it goes into a different realm. We're looking at how someone's physiology and how their metabolism is performing. Is it efficient? Is it not efficient? And from that, we can tell a lot about why they may be having certain symptoms that they're having. Like? Well, like fatigue, that's one of the more common complaints we hear. And uh, on the test, we can tell, is there certain nutritional deficiencies uh, that may relate to fatigue? Is there certain problems in their cells in the manufacturing of energy, which makes them lethargic? Um, we can look at certain hormones or neurotransmitters that may be relating to fatigue. Uh, people who have resistance to losing weight, we may find some keys to that by looking at- Like what, for example? And I ask you that again, I mean, how could this test target that, okay, there's something going on that's causing you to gain weight? Well, if your cells aren't burning energy very efficiently with what you eat, if you're not burning it and making energy and you're storing it as fat, then you gain weight. And we can see how efficient your cells are at burning the different things that you eat into energy rather than storing fat. Well, once you identify that mm -hmm. with a test like this, right. then what? Well, if it's a deficiency state, we replete the deficiency. So we can really target the kind of therapeutics we do with nutrients, uh, with amino acids, with various different types of uh, therapeutic things that are available to us today. Other things include insomnia or anxiety or people who just don't feel calm. We can see that in elements of this test. Uh, people who are lethargic and just f do not feel healthy, we can find out are they toxic? Are they not detoxifying things very well? We can detect food allergies on this test, which can cause a whole myriad of symptoms. Uh, people who, for instance, have gastrointestinal vague complaints, such as bloating, um, such as just uh, feeling discomfort uh, after they eat. This is a fairly new test? Yes. Okay, now since this came along, how has it changed your job as a doctor? Well, it's made it easier, quite frankly, because I deal in my kind of practice with a lot of people uh, who have been to a lot of medical providers and are not getting a good answer. Um, they're told that you don't have any specific disease. Uh, we don't know why you don't feel good, but you don't feel good. So with this type of testing, it allows us to do less guessing and make less assumptions and actually be able to get real information that we can act upon. So I use this as a baseline test in my practice for virtually every new patient that comes in, whether they're just someone who's fairly healthy and looking for a greater degree of 
of health and vibrance, or someone who has a long laundry list of complaints and is trying to find out why they feel the way they do. Now, is this test picking up nationwide? Yes. Yeah, it's available nationwide. Now, so, so ask your doctor for the comprehensive metabolic profile. For the Designs for Health comprehensive metabolic profile. All right. Now, this test, what all does it look for? Well, the test is broken up into sections. Uh, the first section is an organic acid test, which is a urine test. Um, and organic acids in medicine are just different points uh, or different chemicals that are created in our normal metabolism. But we look at the level in you as an individual versus what is considered normal. And it can tell us a lot about specific nutrient or mineral deficiencies, which may have a bearing on your health and the symptoms that you're having. Um, it also looks at energy metabolism, how your cells actually construct energy, which certainly relates to you know, why you may feel fatigued or lack of energy or lack of exercise tolerance. Uh, the test looks at some what we call neural markers. It looks at some neurotransmitters, uh, which have a lot to do with our mood, uh, our ability to sleep, our tendency to maybe crave things like sweets. Okay. Um, the test looks at a, a bunch of markers that have to do with how well we detoxify chemicals. We make a lot of toxic chemicals in our own internal environment in the body, but we're also in the modern world, of course, exposed to a lot of different chemicals. And our mechanisms of detoxification are very, very important for us to maintain good health. So you can find something on this uh, gastrointestinal part of the test. It's on the detoxification okay. part of the test. So if you find that, right. there are supplements you could give, medications you give to turn that, we, that around? There are things that we can do to enhance those natural pathways in the body that will get rid of toxins more efficiently. Do you see that happening in your practice? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. we, we, we have seen that for um, the whole time that this type of testing technology has been available. And I, I want to stress to you, we're not testing for the toxin. We're testing the metabolic pathways in the body that are called upon when you are exposed to a toxin. Okay. So we're getting right to the core of the matter. Uh, if you're exposed, whether you've been exposed or not um, to any high degree, we're looking at how efficient you will be at mitigating the damage of a possible exposure. And of course, we all are exposed to various toxins every day through our diet, through our air, through our water, and like I said, through our own normal biochemistry. We have every, you know, we have waste products in the body that are toxins that so we So this have measures eliminate. that. It does measure that. It measures your efficiency in dealing with toxic materials. A lot of toxic materials in the body actually come from our gastrointestinal tract. Of course, the gastrointestinal tract is a very complicated environment within our own body, which has microbes and fungi and other types of organisms themselves living there, which also produce wastes. Those wastes get absorbed and we have to treat them as toxins and get rid of them. New research into the microbes that live in the human gut shows they're not just along for the ride. In a recent issue of Science Magazine, researchers reported the findings of a genetic survey of what's living in the human digestive system. What they found is a thriving ecosystem of microorganisms that may be essential for everything from digestion to immunity. The comprehensive metabolic profile can help ensure the correct balance of microorganisms and that bad bugs haven't evaded your ecosystem. So the gastrointestinal area of the test can tell us, do you have an overgrowth of certain types of bacteria, let's say, okay. which may be producing toxins. Uh, what if a patient says, yeah, but my doctor has run every test on me. Mm -hmm. He's had to have, you know, run these type of tests. I mean, well, is it that uncommon? If they've gone to a standard primary care physician, it's doubtful that these type of metabolic testing um, procedures have been done. They may have uh, had gastrointestinal Is symptoms. this only for the sick person, by the way, or no. for the person that wants to prevent things? It's for prevention, it's for wellness, it's for, uh, like I said, we even use it with high level athletes to get peak performance, but it's utilized quite a bit. But especially people, for those that don't feel great. Especially with people who don't feel good and have a long laundry list of symptoms and they've been to the doctor and they've been tested and they've been told, I'm sorry, there's we nothing wrong anything. with you. We can't find anything, I hear that all the time. Or they get put on some medications that are meant to just, you know, palliate their symptoms, but are, you know, not really getting to the heart of why they may be having those symptoms. Another part of the test looks at your oxidative stress. And people may have heard that in the news or just yeah. in the general media. What is oxidative stress? Well, um, oxidative stress is created often in the body when we get exposed to toxins or as a 
byproduct of our own metabolism. So what are the symptoms, though, of oxidative stress? Well, oxidative stress in the medical literature has been tied to the genesis of a whole laundry list of diseases, from cardiovascular disease to cancer. Okay. Now, we're not looking to diagnose cardiovascular disease. We're not looking to diagnose cancer on this test. But we're looking for risk factors that have been well established in the medical literature and trying to, you know, do something about those potential risks before they end up in a disease. The beauty of this kind of testing and where the rubber really meets the road is that we're not testing for the sake of testing. We're not testing and telling you, oh, you have X disease or X problem uh, and send you on your way. Uh, the objective of the test is to find out answers so that we can then have a rational therapeutic plan. The like targeting treatment? Yes, exactly. I mean, is this like a tailored, it allows you to tailor treatment? It, it allows you to individualize and be very specific for that individual on what would be most efficient at correcting their particular problems or their particular risk factors. And the doctors and nutritionists who use this test are trained on how to construct a good therapeutic program for you, whether it's lifestyle change, whether it's diet change, whether it's the specific and targeted use of nutritional supplementation, um, whether it's stress management. There are a lot of different interventions based on the um, multitude of parameters on this type of metabolic testing. You are watching the latest edition of the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. My first guest is Hyla Cass, MD. Dr. Cass is a frequently quoted expert in the field of integrative medicine. She combines leading edge natural medicine with modern science in her clinical practice, writings, lectures, and nationwide media appearances. She is often seen as an expert guest on national radio and television and quoted in national print media. Dr. Cass is an assistant clinical professor at UCLA School of Medicine and author of several popular books, including Eight Weeks to Vibrant Health, a Woman's Take Charge program. She also serves on the board of Vitamin Relief USA, which provides daily nutritional supplements to at-risk children. Dr. Cass is a nationally acclaimed innovator and expert in the field of integrative medicine. We've invited her on the program today to discuss new diagnostic testing that is changing the way healthcare is practiced. Dr. Cass, welcome to the program. Pleasure to be here. Dr. Cass, we've wanted you on the show for quite some time. You're an author, uh, yes. you've authored many books. Yes. How eight many? weeks, um, ten. Ten books? Mm -hmm. The most recent ones are Eight Weeks to Vibrant Health and Natural Highs. Okay. Before we get into today's topic, let's uh, tell me about your practice. My practice, it's interesting. I began as a psychiatrist. That's what my boards are in. However, psychiatry really goes below the neck as well. Okay. And I found in seeing people with anxiety, depression, bipolar disorder, whatever, the, whatever psychiatrists see, I found that there were many physical, physiological conditions that were also going on. And I was treating a whole lot of other disorders, chronic fatigue, food allergies, and weight gain, all in the same ballpark as the psychiatric problems, but I was able to treat them differently, not the Couch and Prozac method. Now moving on to today's topic, mm -hmm. the Comprehensive Metabolic Profile by Designs mm -hmm. for Health. We said at the top of the show, and we've talked off camera, that this is changing the way healthcare is practiced, certainly the way you're practicing medicine. Tell me about that. I mean, what does this test do for you that allows you to, is it better diagnosis, better treatment, both? With a comprehensive metabolic profile, I can much better zero in on what the root cause is of whatever the person is coming to me complaining about. So I don't have to do, I don't have to guess what about what's going on. I don't have to do what many doctors do. And as I was saying earlier, as a psychiatrist, it's basically, oh, you have this symptom, you use this antidepressant. This one doesn't work, try another one. Whereas with the comprehensive metabolic profile, I have much more data. I have real scientific data and evidence as to what is really going on in the person's physiology, and I can make the appropriate changes, and I can use natural means. So how does this, uh, using this test, change your practice? Has it made you more effective? With the comprehensive metabolic profile, I can tell much more accurately what the particular metabolic imbalance is with that individual. And it makes a world of difference. For example, I had a woman come in who was depressed and had been on a variety of antidepressants, none of which did, did it for her. Either she had side effects or they just didn't work. Okay. And she was tired of the medication routine, came to me because she knew I practiced a more natural kind of medicine. So. By the way, if someone is on medication, I don't immediately just take them off. I actually work with them and then very gradually wean them off. So I know people are concerned. Oh, no, does don't this take test them. help you do that? It does. So with this particular woman, 
I tested, I did the comprehensive metabolic profile on her and discovered that she was low in serotonin as well as low in dopamine. Now that may not mean anything to, you know, those are kind of big words, okay. but those are the chemicals that send messages, they send happy messages to your brain cells. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have enough serotonin and you don't have enough dopamine, you're going to be depressed, have trouble sleeping, maybe gaining weight, and have trouble with your mood, focus, and concentration. That's a whole lot, just from these two neurotransmitters or brain chemicals. And I can tell by looking at this test, which I'm gonna call the CMP for short. Okay. It's a lot easier to, <laughs> for me right, to say it right. and for you to hear it. So with the CMP, I can actually see what neurotransmitters, what brain chemicals are low or deficient, and then give the right amino acids to go along with it. And there's another Nutritional piece to Nutritional supplements we're talking about. That's right. Okay. And little pills or powders. And what was also good is I have discovered in this very same patient that her B vitamin levels were very low. Now, that said, what do we need B vitamins? B vitamins are essential for taking the protein that we eat. The protein is broken down into amino acids. The amino acids are converted into neurotransmitters. So you eat a piece of chicken, and it gets it yields tryptophan. Okay. When you, you eat chicken or turkey. You get some tryptophan from it, your body breaks it down and converts it to serotonin. But in order to convert it to serotonin, it needs B vitamins. And if you don't have enough B vitamins, you can have all the tryptophan you want, but you need those B vitamins to help with the chemical reaction. While advertisers would make us think most of us have acid eating away our esophagus, scientists are now discovering that the opposite may be true. Many of us don't have enough stomach acid. Older people need extra B12 because they don't make enough stomach acid, which you need to liberate B12 from food. The DFH Comprehensive Metabolic Profile can show exactly how much B12 is needed for optimum health. This same woman that goes to you, mm -hmm. she was on antidepressants, you right. said. Didn't they do that type of testing? I mean, isn't that being done nationwide? They look at neurotransmitters, is, B vitamins. This is revolutionary, this testing. So they're not testing? It's almost as if it's research quality of testing. Because in, for the most part, doctors are not trained in how to do this very sophisticated. It's very sophisticated. And I, it's amazing. So what it's not I being get, done nationwide with people it, who've been given, that are given antidepressants, things like that. They're You're not tested. It, oh, they're not tested. They don't get this kind of testing. No, they don't get anything like it. Oh, interesting. And it's kind of shocking to me that a person would be given something as strong as some of these medications without being tested first. Are you implying, though, that you can get the same results with natural things like nutrients well, as, you, as an antidepressant. Well, what's very nice is I often get better results. Okay. And the reason why I get better results, because people are confused, they're saying, well, you know, just as you said, well, it's just a, you know, it's just a natural supplement. How could it okay. be as strong as a drug? How can it work as well as a drug? It works better because it's going to the exact place it needs to go. And it doesn't cause side effects. In fact, it'll have side benefits rather than side effects. Because the B vitamins are also useful in dealing with stress. They're also important when women are on the birth control pill. They're often deficient in B vitamins and vitamin C and experience depression. Well, all my, all my women who are on the pill are put automatically on these vitamins. But you can also look at the CMP and see, oh yeah, there's a deficiency in B vitamins and C. Uh, vitamin C, and you can show this. I can show this to my patient, okay. and they can see in black and white, this is what's going so on. So a patient comes to you, they're depressed, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, no motivation. And exactly. you suggest mm -hmm. they take this comprehensive metabolic profile. Right. And can you almost predict you know what you're going to see on the test? I have some ideas. Sometimes I'm surprised. In this particular woman, it also turned out that she had some food allergies because there's a food allergy component to this test. And it turned out that she had allergies to wheat and dairy. And that when we took those out of her diet, she felt much better and her energy increased. Even in addition to the vitamins and the amino acids I was giving her based on the other part of the test. So there are many, many facets to it. I mean, if we this, are very complex. So this test is now yeah. being, I, I guess not all doctors, but are... Unfortunately not. I would like to see this in every doctor's office. You think this will become the gold standard? That I'm hoping it will. I'm hoping it will for my patient's sake because it gives, it gives the doctor a tool to help the patient as effectively and efficiently as possible. And we know doctors don't have a lot of time to see patients. What do patients like about it? What do they say? I mean, you say it shows them in black and white. What other things does patients it tell them? Patients like, first of all, they like a scientific black and white, these are the results. This is what's going on in my body and in my brain. 
It, it's mm. very helpful. So it, it takes, for me, it takes the guesswork out. For them, it gives them the validation, the verification that what I'm, as the doctor, suggesting actually has some merit. It actually has some validation. So that's, that's good. And it, it, we can then monitor. You see, with this woman, I gave her the supplements. Okay. She took them for three months. She was feeling a lot better. And I could have said, okay, she, she's doing well. We could just leave it at that. But I wanted to check, and she wanted to check, has there been an improvement? And in fact, there was. You know, her, and she was able to tolerate the foods better, having been off them for, for some time. So we had gradually reintroduced the foods. She was able to, do, to actually tolerate them. And she was doing much better in all dimensions. Her mood was better. She had more energy. She was feeling altogether like a different person. Do all of your patients that see you take this test? I mean, do you tell them this is what you need? Pretty much. Pretty much. I, it's my tool. Now, this test, I look at this test, inexpensive mm -hmm. for the most part. But insurance companies don't cover the whole thing, or I guess there is some reimbursement. Why is that? They have their standards. They try to get away with paying as little as possible. Okay. And so we have to push them a little, a little on this, give them the right code numbers, and uh, interact with them in a way, in a language that they understand. So I do get some reimbursement in a lot of cases. We're going to take a quick break, but a, a recap here. Who should get this test? Everyone. Really? Uh, I have... This, I have people coming into my office who've been to all kinds of doctors, spent a lot of money, a lot of time, and have been told, you're fine, your lab tests are fine, there's nothing wrong with you. You're just, okay. uh, you're tired, you have, you, have th you have three kids, no wonder you're tired, you're working too hard, um, you're stressed, take Is a break. Is there a lot of that going on? And there's people that feel terrible that. and bad. nothing shows up on blood work? People who can't lose weight, who are depressed, fatigued, all, any number of problems, like digestive problems, and they're told, there's nothing wrong with you, it's all in your head. That's why they end up in my office, because I'm a psychiatrist. And w the irony is, I'm the one who does the biochemical, scientific look at, well, what is really wrong biochemically? And then I have this test where I can actually tell, where's the biochemistry? Where is the imbalance that does not show up in the standard tests? So when people, people will come to me and say, oh, I've already had all these tests done. Well, they've had all those tests done, which I do too, by the way. What if somebody watching this is saying, well, my doctor's a good doctor. I'm sure they, they ran this type That's of what test. people tell me. They do <laughs> really they tell you do. that. They say, I've had, a, I've had all, all kinds of blood tests. And I said, this is a different kind of test. It's metabolic. It's looking at your metabolites. It's looking at very fine-tuned look. It's a very fine-tuned look at your chemistry. Okay. And I get a tremendous amount of information that your doctor won't get from the tests he does and I won't get from the standard tests. It's a step beyond. So just ask your doctor, I want a comprehensive metabolic profile? Right. And if they don't know what it is, there's the website, plenty of information there. And they can look it up and provide the test. We've Gosh. talked a lot about depression, things like that. What else is the test? Are you using the test to identify? One of the big problems that women are running into, men too, but I, I find it more in women, is lack of energy. Can't get up in the morning, run out of steam partway through the day. And I get a lot of information in looking at the CMP test. For example, cellular energy. If they're not able to burn energy on a cellular level, to take the raw materials and burn them in the cell, then they're not gonna have enough energy. And I can tell by looking at the results and I put them on coenzyme Q10, carnitine, and some of these other supplements, and boy, do you do get Do you change. see people getting better? I see amazing changes. I had one woman who didn't come to me for exactly for this, but I noticed she had her cellular energy really not, not burning clean. You know, it's like okay. an engine that's just not burning clean. Put her on some of these supplements, and she said she was running a marathon in better time with better endurance than she ever had. Now, that made me feel good, made her feel good. Okay, now, is this just for sick people? I would say we all have things that are out of balance that we don't know about, and I think the best way to treat ourselves is with preventive maintenance, like we do our cars. I think we treat our cars better than we treat ourselves. Something I really want to mention is that when you get the results, you also have a list of recommendations. What supplements do you need specifically for your individual biochemistry? The test prints these out? The test will okay. give that to you based on your results. Not only that, but you have an explanation of what each of those supplements are. It's so confusing for, for an individual to know, well, why am I taking, what does vitamin C do? What does magnesium do? And this explains it all. So you know why the recommendation is being given and what you're taking and why you're taking it. it makes a lot of sense. What do you say to your colleagues about this test? Do you tell them about it, the ones that aren't using it? I absolutely tell them about it. 
because what I say is that it maximizes your ability to treat the person on an individual basis, give them what they need, and get faster, more effective results. Okay, and we've talked a lot about testing, testing, testing. Mm -hmm. You truly believe that you get better results with this? I mean, I with do. patient, patient outcomes. Yeah. It, it gives me a tremendous amount of information. Now, of course, I get information from a history, from interacting with someone, but, and then confirming it, and actually showing me things that I hadn't even thought of before in that particular patient. I mean, it, it's incredible. Final message to the patient about this test. If you've had unexplained depression, anxiety, insomnia, weight gain, lack of energy, digestive problems, any of those and more, this is a great tool to find out exactly what's going so on. So ask your doctor. So ask your doctor. Great. I want to thank you for coming on the show. It's Very been a pleasure. Interesting. It's been a pleasure. You've been watching The Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Up next, you're going to want to hear this. A nutritionist in the field, JJ Virgin, is going to tell us how she's using the comprehensive metabolic profile and getting amazing results. We'll be right back. Dr. Erwin Rosenberg, senior scientist and professor at Tufts University, hopes to see the indiscriminate use of multivitamins give way to a more tailored approach where people take precisely the nutritional supplements they need. The Designs for Health Comprehensive Metabolic Profile helps you achieve that goal today by tailoring supplement recommendations to your individual biochemistry. You are watching The Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. We're here with certified nutrition specialist, JJ Virgin. JJ, thanks for coming on the program. Thanks for having me. Now, uh, you know, we've had the physician point of view with comprehensive metabolic testing, or profile, as mm -hmm. it's called. And uh, you're a nutritionist in the field, and so we wanted to get your take, and, and you're getting some amazing results. You know, it's a lot of fun to have this, too, because the response with your clients is fantastic. They come to you, and as a nutritionist, you're only as good as your health assessment. So you're asking them a whole lot of questions, and they're arbitrarily deciding what you need to know. And then you've got to give it your best clinical guess based on your education experience. I, and I say, you know, doing this 20 years, I think I'm hitting about 70, 30. But when you can do this, now you've taken the subjectiveness, the subjectivity away. It's a completely objective health assessment and it's just fantastic because you're going to get things that no matter how great of an assessment you do with that client, you're not going to know about a B vitamin insufficiency or some of these imbalances. There's no way they would show up any other way and the results you get because you can now target it, you can hit the problems, okay. show the client so they're going to be um, completely compliant. I mean when they can see in these beautiful graphs and black and white what is going on with them first of all so it's showing nutrient deficiency what a relief they know they're not crazy because so many of them have had test after test after test and tried all these different things to no avail and now they can see here's what's really going on okay now you said that in the old days which wasn't uh, too long ago that you were I guess blindly giving supplements based on symptoms. I don't know, I'd say blindly. I'd okay. say I was giving my best clinical guess. But the challenge is, okay, so we're giving them B vitamins, we're giving them CoQ10, but were we giving them enough? Did they really need these things? You know, the most expensive therapy really is one that doesn't work. And what are we really t going out for? We come to see a, a doctor or a nutritionist or our healthcare professional because we want results. Mm -hmm. And we want results as quickly as possible. So this allows me to do an objective health assessment and pinpoint the problem and get them on that track and then retest and see if we're nailing it or not. Because it will also uncover if we've got some genetic areas where we're always gonna have to push a pathway, hit them a little bit harder with B vitamins, and we would never be able to find this any other way. Okay, let's start from the top then and tell me, how are you using this test? This is my starting point with every single client that I now see. I'll give you an example. Brandon Routh, I helped get Superman, Superman ready right. for his role. And the last thing you want to have Superman have a problem with is nutrient deficiencies because that's going to affect his energy, his ability to recover, his ability to be on that set, be present, and give it his all every single day. And you, you can't have a fatigued, slumping Superman. So we ran this test on him, and a couple interesting things came out. Um, number one, he had a CoQ10 deficiency. Number two, he was showing some signs of stress that actually got worse as he got closer to the premiere. You can imagine what it would feel like to be making your big breakout role 
in Superman, I mean, the pressure. But he'd always had a little bit of a kind of an eczema rash. And I remember reading in People magazine, I love this, he said, eggs are my kryptonite. Because we found a sensitivity, a food allergy to eggs on his test that had no overt signs. He, he didn't eat an egg and start to wheeze or anything like that. He ate an egg and a day later he started to get a little rash on his arms and so we took that out and we also worked more on his fatty acid giving him good omega-3s which were also shown low on the test and all of that improved dramatically. So you use this on Superman which going into this he was a healthy person. Right. Who's a candidate for this test? As a nutritionist. Uh... There is an application for anyone you know with this test. I'll give you some examples. A mother-daughter walked in the door. The daughter wanted to be a marathon runner and okay. her mother was pushing her, kind of a hard driving mother was pushing her to train at 5 a.m. in the morning and she, she didn't want to do it. She felt like she was doing enough. And so when I ran the test on the daughter, we found out that she had two stress markers that are elevated that are early signs of overtraining sy syndrome, which we wouldn't have seen until another month, two months, three months down the road when she started to get sick and couldn't recover. Now the mother wanted to lose weight. She really didn't have that much to lose, but five or 10 pounds that she just couldn't get off. Sticky, you know, that yeah. weight loss resistance. Those last 10 the last pounds. last 10 pounds. And her fatigue was not quite, you know, little fatigue, energy. little energy. energy problems. So I ran the test and food sensitivity to wheat. Now, one thing that we know that's very interesting with food sensitivities is a lot of times, they are one of the reasons that you become weight loss resistant. You just can't lose that weight. So she had a, a wheat sensitivity, but the other thing that she had was a carnitine deficiency, which means that she wasn't able to burn fat. So here she has trouble losing weight. Here she has low energy. So you look like a hero because you found these things that you wouldn't be able to uncover any other way. So here was a mother and daughter, very different goals, right? Different ages, both, and, and both of them healthy coming in. Again, just looking to be the best that they could be. Now, another great example is someone who was in terrible health, um, a, a man that I'd known for years with a, a serious disease called ankylosing spondylitis. This is where it's a form, it's an autoimmune disease, it's a, it's a type of arthritis where your bones fuse together until you suffocate and die. This is a bad thing to have. Okay. And classically, we know a couple things about this disease. You generally will have a um, sensitivity or reaction to wheat and dairy and you have some gut bugs, uh, gut bacterial overgrowth. And I told him these things and I couldn't get it through his thick head. I couldn't get right. him to listen. And so I ran the test. He had one of the worst tests I've ever seen. And of course, there it showed up, the, the wheat and the dairy. He stopped those, he lost 50 pounds in two months, just changing that. Okay. Okay. Um, Sounds like an exaggeration. Major, nope, major gut dysbiosis showed up there. But you know, one other thing, really interesting thing showed up. This was a man whose mother had died of leukemia, his sister now is battling cancer, and the family had a dry cleaning business. And he had showed a very high xylene exposure to methyl hippurate in the test, and then he showed a real high overworking detoxification system. So my goal is now to really work on that detoxification system so he doesn't end up with both the ankylosing spondylitis and a problem with cancer, so I'm hoping by supporting those detoxification systems, we can help that problem as well. Now these are the, I mean this was a sick person. Why didn't his traditional or his family care pr uh, practitioner run this? Who teaches doctors labs in medical school? They don't? It's not being done? It's, it's done by the lab companies, by the lab companies that are, you know, the big insurance-based lab companies. But also understand what the traditional medical um, world set up on. It's a disease care management. This truly is a different type of test. Yes, it has amazing implications for people with disease, but my favorite place to use it is that person coming in who all their labs look normal, but they're tired. They can't write, they, they can't lose weight. They're trying and you know it's just not working for them. They've got some mood issues. They're not sleeping well. And again, everything looks normal. It's all fine. And you run this test and it is shocking what we're seeing, and yet you won't see those. There's a couple of these things that you'll see in traditional lab tests. They'll run a B12 level, but you know, by the time you see a B12 deficiency in, the, in a traditional blood test, 
it could be 100, 120 days out. We can catch it within 10 days in this type of test. Who wants to live another 100 days with a B12 deficiency? And my, and my gosh, this is correlated with depression, of course, energy. So when you look at all of these things, nutrient deficiencies is one of the first places a, a nutritionist is going to start because nutrient deficiencies affect everything. Now, for your weight loss patients that go to you. Oh, this is a hands mandatory? down, mandatory. This is the ultimate test to uncover the areas of weight loss resistance. Someone comes in, and I'm going to assume now, of course, they're the people I seem to get are the toughest weight loss okay. cases, but I'm assuming weight loss resistance the minute they walk in the door. So what do I need to find out? Do we have detoxification issues? Check it's on the test. Do I have neurotransmitter imbalances? Check it's on the test. I mean, we know you're a great example. I ran the test on you. You were having a lot of food cravings. Boom, right, I right. run the test. I told you you'd had a tyrosine deficiency. You wouldn't get compliant until I could prove it to you on a test. Um, stress issues. I'm going to see stress issues straight out on that test through the neurotransmitter part. Vitamin deficiencies, especially carnitine and CoQ10 deficiencies, so that my body can really use energy. So this and helps burn off boost that. the metabolism. In other words, you're looking for deficiencies. You correct the deficiencies and correct the metabolism. Yeah, if you're deficient in carnitine, you're not going to be a good fat burner. But is it that simple? It's really that simple. I mean, it sounds crazy when you hear this, that everybody isn't taking this test. It sounds crazy. And, you know, you think of a baby, they actually do the PKU organics test right when they're born. It sounds crazy not to be doing this as a preventive checkup. I just had a four-year-old that I tested because she had some asthma. I am so thrilled that her mother had the foresight to bring her in. Now, I, of course, have tested my kids, but you okay. know, most people, parents aren't going to think of this when your kid has a little asthma. Her test was a nightmare, this poor kid. I am so thankful that we didn't wait until, you know, this is one that, that she would have gotten worse and progressively worse over five, six, seven, and been on massive drugs. And who knows what we would have ended up with when, by the time she was an adult and, and the repair. And some of those things are not, they're irreparable. Some of the damage that you do to the gut. Now we haven't mentioned this, but you lecture nationwide to physicians, health practitioners, nutritionists on how to use this test. What are they saying? I mean, the ones that are using it. The what ones about that the are results? using it. Once, once they start using it, they never not use it because, again, this makes them look like the hero. And the results, it allows you, because here's the difference with a supplement versus a drug. You, you give someone a drug and you're going to feel it fairly quickly. When you put a client or a patient on a supplement program, you need them to have some faith with you because, again, to me, it's a three-month commitment to really start to know some differences. Now, they'll start to feel some things in usually a couple of weeks, but you've got to give it time to work and correct these imbalances. So some of it is got to they got to get on board with you. And this test really helps them get on board because it's so simple for them also to understand and see. And, and again, I talk about that peace of mind for them to go, you know, I am not crazy. I knew I didn't feel right. Mm -hmm. I knew I felt a little bit off. Uh, but also, we've had people come in who feel great, but they just want to make sure that everything's looking good. And it's funny because those are the people that you uncover gut dysbiosis and B vitamin deficiencies that who would have known? Somebody wants to take the test. What's the process? Well, you know, for those of us that have to go and get blood tests, I, I always have to take my son in and there's the line out the door because everyone has to be fasting. That's a nightmare and I'm so happy to say that's not part of this test. This is a simple urine and blood spot test. So you can do the blood spots at home or the office. Very simple. Finger prick and you bleed onto a card. And I've done this with four-year-olds and 80-year-olds. It's not a big deal to do. And then a urine test, which you do at home, and then you throw on ice, and it's all FedExed out to the lab. So it's very simple to do, and it's a very interesting test because what it looks at, we have the urine part, which looks at something called organic acids. And this is where, again, I keep doing the car metaphor. You're used to looking at the exhaust of a car and to be able to tell how well the car is running. And that really, we're looking at your exhaust and saying, okay, what's happening here? what's being dumped out and how well are you running. So we can see if there's any roadblocks in there to affect how well your body creates energy, burns off fat, um, balances brain chemicals, if it's having to work too hard on detoxification, et cetera. It's, it's really fantastic. The blood spots, one looks at food sensitivities and part of that's really a function of how well your, your guts functioning, what's your, your, uh, the integrity of your intestinal wall. And then we also look at fatty acids and that is huge. 
Fish oils or omega-3 fatty acids are among the top 10 nutritional supplements regularly consumed by Americans. Taking the right balance of these essential fatty acids or EFAs can help reduce the inflammation that can lead to heart disease and diabetes. But taking the wrong balance or taking too much can also be harmful. The Designs for Health Blood Spot Fatty Acid Profile, part of the DFH Comprehensive Metabolic Profile, helps you achieve the perfect balance of EFAs for your maximum health benefit. I didn't used to do fatty acid testing. I used to arbitrarily give every client that walked in the door fish oils, and I do not do that anymore because one of the things I found is that there are people out there that are taking too many omega-3 fats, and they're you actually- You can take too many? You can, and it reduces your immune function, and it creates a lot of oxidative stress. So this isn't something that you just willy-nilly, let's go throw a bunch of fish oils at this person now uh, because I read that, that they were good for, for me, okay? okay. You, you need to be measuring these levels and then you can pinpoint it because again, your fatty acids are how you control your inflammatory response and your immune system. Very powerful therapy, very easy to do when you test. Now many of the people watching this will watch this on broadcast and, and we're gonna make this uh, uh, available for practitioners in their offices. What do you say to the patient that feels lousy, maybe they have unexplained weight gain, like you said at the top of the show, every, every test that they've taken shows nothing, but they, but they don't feel good. What do you say to them? If they're skeptical. Go, go prick your finger right now. This okay. honestly is the best thing that you can ever do because why are you at this office? You're at this office to get results. You've got to give your practitioner a fighting chance to make a difference with you. They need the information. Well, many of the people that watch this on broadcast, their doctor may not have this test. So what do you do? You ask your doctor, I want to know more about the a Designs for Health. The profile. Okay. Right. That's what you say. Find you a doctor people. that's a proactive doctor that, that's into health care, not disease management, that wants you to be the best that you can be and work with them. Final message about the test. Final message is take the test. If you want peak performance, if you've got symptoms that traditional lab tests just can't uncover, take the test. And it's really a simple process to do. You have two blood spots, you have a urine, they're shipped directly to the lab. The results are back in two weeks. You're going to review the results with your health care professional. And then the results also come with a customized supplement program, customized specially for you, and also so a recommendation diet. Specific recommendations to your body chemistry, exactly which nutrients you need to take which dosing you need to take, if you've got food sensitivities, which foods you need to, to avoid or rotate through your diet. It's all customized right there, that whole nutrient profile. Great. I want to thank you for coming on the program. Very thank interesting. You. You've been watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. If you'd like to see this program online, visit our website at wellnesshour.com. For now, I wish you good health.